It's not a great sign when they tow your uh, aircraft away from the gate. The golden rule does apply here. I'm at the airport and I'm ready to fly. Today's journey will see me flying from Sydney through to LA with United Airlines in their very fancy Polaris business class. It's been a long time since I've flown that, so I'm interested to see what it's like these days. It is almost 14 hours from Sydney through to LA, so we have plenty of time to check it out. Join me, let's check in and fly to LA. Let's go. Checked in, ready to fly. Really nice check-in lady here. They don't have a uh, United Airlines lounge here at Sydney Airport, so uh, I've got the choice between Singapore Airlines and Air New Zealand Lounge. Now, I have just been told that uh, Air New Zealand has the better coffee, so I think I'll head there first. The Air New Zealand Lounge is very nice. It was also much, much bigger than the Singapore Airlines one, so it's a good choice if you're flying out on a Star Alliance carrier. There are plenty of seating, drinking and dining options and some great views out over the airport. They're right about the coffee. Great lounge as always. Time to fly. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye bye. Let's go to LA. I did quickly stick my head into the SQ lounge next door. It looked very nice, but was quite busy. So not so fast. Uh, travel plans can sometimes go astray and uh, that may well be happening today. Uh, arrived at the gate, flight is delayed by two and a half hours or so, uh, some sort of mechanical issue. So we'll get to see how uh, United Airlines handles uh, these sorts of disruptions. I do have quite a tight connection, two hours in uh, LA. My ultimate destination is Miami. Um, so we'll see whether I can still make it to Miami. I hope so, because the following morning I'm on a flight to Aruba with American. It's not a linked ticket, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I still make it. Ironically, I wasn't even supposed to be on this flight. I was supposed to fly out yesterday with United to uh, Houston uh, and then straight on to Miami. But uh, because I was sick, I delayed my flight for a day. And uh, it looks like I've been delayed a little bit further, but keep you posted. In situations like this, it's always uh, important to stay good-natured, calm. The crew, the staff, the ground crew, etc., are doing their best to try and get things moving. Uh, it is what it is, and what will be will be. So we'll uh, we'll see where we end up at the end of today. It's not a great sign when they tow your uh, aircraft away from the gate. Let's hope we still get to go to LA. I took the only sensible option and went back up to the lounge to watch other flights depart. I also saw this engineer giving my aircraft a motivational pep talk. Actually, I found out later from one of my Instagram followers that this was actually the engineers doing some final engine checks before giving it the all clear. Well, the pep talk must have worked because as I was filming this SQA380 getting its final wave off, we heard these magical words. Sure, good afternoon. United Airlines wishes to advise customers traveling on flight UA842, service bound to Los Angeles, who in practice now cleared for boarding. Take two, let's see if we can fly this time. Thanks, bye. Cheers, here's to one sensational flight. So we've been further delayed by a bit because uh, in doing the engineering checks they found a problem with one of the tyres and it just needs to be replaced. They're doing that now and then we'll be on our way. But in a bit of good luck, 
the seat in front of me was empty. It wasn't when I did the seat selection. So I now have one of the closer to the windows seats uh, for my flight to LA. So I'll be able to get some nice views, at least coming out of Sydney. The rest of the views will be ocean pretty much all of the way. So uh, looking forward to getting up in the air. Now that we're finally up in the air, let's have a good look at this United Polaris cabin and seat. The cabin is laid out in a 1-2-1 configuration so that all passengers have direct aisle access. The seats on the side are staggered so some are closer to the window and some are closer to the aisle. The aisle seats are definitely easier to get in and out of. Couples who get on should sit in these seats while those needing their distance can sit in these or raise a privacy divider. The seats themselves were well designed were all the mod cons you'd expect from a modern business class seat. I've found them very comfortable to sit in and give you plenty of space to spread out and store your stuff. Not long after takeoff, a drink was served from the bar. The wine list was pretty basic for business class, and quite fittingly, the only whiskey served on board was American. It's an American whiskey to start. Cheers. Next up was lunch. I'd received an email from United a few days earlier suggesting I pre-book my meal, which I did. I'd chosen the short rib and it was absolutely delicious, very tender and juicy. The salad with vinaigrette dressing was also excellent. The tomato with burrata cheese was a bit dull and the apple cake for dessert a bit dry. I should have gone for the ice cream sundae. The United Entertainment System was excellent the flight plan, in terms of the order of service, was clearly laid out, and after lunch, it was lights out. Content-wise, there was heaps of choices for your viewing pleasure, including a whole section on wellness and relaxation. This aircraft was Wi-Fi enabled, and considering that we were out over the open ocean for most of the flight, it worked well. When it comes to amenities and bedding, United really delivers. Interestingly though, United Airlines amenities kit comes in the form of a bum bag, as we Australians call them. This will come in really handy if I ever decide to become an Esche. It was very well stocked with all sorts of lotions and potions, which if used correctly, should have me arriving in LA Hollywood ready and looking younger than ever. Regular viewers will know that I'm a lover of airlines that provide in-flight PJs in business class. They just make for a much more comfortable flight and make sure that your uh, clothes stay crease-free and clean. United Airlines does provide in-flight PJs, but I believe you need to request them and they don't always have enough for all passengers on board. So if you really want one, make sure that you ask when you're, when you're bored. Let's see what it looks like. Let's try out the uh, in-flight PJs with United Airlines. One, two, three. Ta-da! And there you go. The United Airlines PJs. Uh, more of a leisure suit, as the Americans would say. A bright blue top with a uh, nice grey pants with the matching slippers. Now, obviously, the golden rule does apply here. It is a flight from Australia, so I can wear them 
in business class, but I cannot walk into the economy class cabin without all of the passengers, especially the Australian ones, thinking I'm a bit of a dickhead. So uh, time to go and get some sleep in the uh, on the life flat bed. It looks really nice. Let's go. Here's a look at all that bedding in action. You can request a seat mattress cover and each passenger is also provided with a large quilt, a blanket, a big pillow and a smaller memory foam pillow. The bed was fully flat and the seats near the window have a good amount of foot room. Unfortunately though, they are very narrow at the shoulders and I just couldn't get comfortable. With some spare seats next to me, I made up the centre seat and this one was much wider at the shoulder, so more comfortable, but it was tighter at the feet. All that said, my body was just not ready for sleep, so eventually I gave up, hit the snack bar and did some work instead. Eventually the cabin was woken up and it was time for breakfast. I went with the smashed avocado and toast, which was excellent and really hit the spot. Another nice touch is that United serves Beerenberg strawberry jam, which comes from the hills not far from my hometown Adelaide. Eventually we saw land and started our descent into LA. At this point I realised I hadn't used the lotions and potions, so Hollywood will have to wait. I'd like to welcome you to Los Angeles. Since we do want to apologize for our late arrival, and on behalf of our entire United team and our Star Alliance partners, we do thank you for flying with us. We hope you've enjoyed your flight. We look forward to seeing you again soon on another flight. That was a really good flight. Enjoyed that. My bags arrived. That was a good flight. Got through customs in about 15, 20 minutes, which was good. Unfortunately, my onward flight, onward connection, was boarding just as we landed, so I've missed that. Uh, apparently, according to the uh, crew on board, the uh, United have protected me on uh, a flight in a couple of hours to Houston and then on to Miami, which is my final destination. All in all, a really good flight. I uh, would have liked to have slept a bit more, but my body clock wasn't having any of it. Uh, really nice crew, quite good food too. Uh, so I would recommend United Polaris. Uh, if you've flown them before, let me know what your thoughts were and uh, whether you liked it, whether you'd fly them again. If you like this video, give it a uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. Also check out my channel where there's a whole lot of other reviews and more on the way. If you haven't done so, please do consider subscribing. Uh, look, in the meantime, as always, happy travels.